We have news courtesy of Hypebeast of another Pata Air Max one for your head top. If you thought the other three were too much, they got to give you one more and maybe another one after this. Again, this is the scourge and one of the negatives of modern sneaker culture at the moment. Modern sneaker culture at the moment is a uh, real mindfuck, right? It's the best it's ever been, in my opinion, because I think the collaborations are coming thick and fast. You get, oh, thick and fast. Pause, right? Pause that one. Pause a little bit. Anyway, right? Um, there's a lot of collaborations from, you know, all different types of brands. Um, you don't always have to go pick for the Adidas and Nikes or the, you know, the other, you know, the brands on the outskirts, the New Balances, the Pumas, the Asics, the Mizunos, the whatever that one with the kangaroo is all those brands are doing some great shit at the moment and then they also tend to collaborate with some interesting brands studios uh, stores who then get a chance to you know have their you know have their kind of vision seen on the sneaker and generally that kind of lends for better selection for us you and i customers to choose from but then the other thing that's annoying about it is that even though there's more of us buying these shoes and there's more companies making these shoes there's still a lack of shoes to go around. There's still an artificial scarcity that's installed in a system that's made um, to kind of keep us in this rat race where we're continually waking up at 9 a.m. to try and log onto sneakers to get a chance to win a raffle, to get a chance to buy a shoe with your hard-earned money, which is something that still will not sit right in my soul because when I grew up, a raffle meant you'd bought a ticket for one pound so that you could have a chance to win something that was way, what that was kind of worth considerably more than your fucking ticket of your, of your raffle. So maybe you might win a TV, a fridge, a bicycle that you don't need, whatever. But the whole point of buying a raffle ticket so that you could win something that far exceeded the individual price of it. But now raffles mean have a chance to win a shoe or have a chance to buy a shoe that you also don't have a chance to get in your side. It's like bullshit. So I hate all that artificial scarcity. It fucking does my head in. But at least with Pata, they're trying to do things the right way. They did a little in-store release. People can eat, had to queue up in the morning. They sorted people out. I've seen from people that I know who have been in the scene for time and kind of quote-unquote pay their dues that fucking bullshit line ASI tried to give me in terms of trying to sell me in that regard, which I've always fucking hated. But yeah, that kind of paid your dues kind of marquee, you know, title, name, whatever it's called. I've seen people getting them. But in all in, due, all, in all, I have seen people that I've seen whoever won these shoes online so far, I've seen that they've kind of got them. I, don't, I haven't seen many people who have kind of been crying and moaning they haven't been able to get them. And then for whatever reason, the resale on these is really good. I don't know why people aren't necessarily keeping these or why there's, there's, the resale is so low, maybe because they made a lot of them. I don't know. But the resale on these is still pretty, pretty insane considering how beautifully constructed they are, in my opinion. But again, I still think there is a saturation problem. How much is enough? Like now that we've got them in black, is there going to be another colorway coming out of these Pata Air Max ones? Are they necessary? Again, I love the black because again, I'm a sucker for black. If they would have just popped that swoosh in silver, right? Or maybe, yeah, in a, if they popped that swoosh in a silver, I would have, you know, Jeremy, I could ejaculate in my trousers right now. If the swoosh, uh, the main swoosh and the little swoosh down the mud guard with silver, you could take my money right now easily, easily take my money. But in just in terms of a sneaker head, sneaker collector sort of vibe, it gets a little bit annoying when you think you've got a special shoe and then suddenly the next week, another one. The next week, another one. Next week, another one. And then it would be worse if the resale for this was really high. If you went on StockX and you bought one for like a, a grand and then the next week another one comes out that devalues yours to 700 and now that one's four you'd be crying into your fucking nike box so that's the only issue i have with it slightly but in terms of a shoe in terms of a quartet of shoes or whatever i think it's four right uh brown orange how many how many are there how many are there how many are there how many are there nike air max one patter is it Let's just, should I check? I can't bother to check. But yeah, you know, I think there's four. I'm not going to search, but yeah, they do look fucking beautiful. Let's not deny that. That shape, man, I don't know what they did. They must have, they must have changed the tooling for it. Or maybe it's the wave pattern on the mud guard, it's Air Max 1. But I've legitimately never seen a new retro Air Max 1. Sans a little, um, Sans a little, what's those things called? Those little shoe things that you help to kind of stuff the toe. Sans those shoe things or tissue or someone's foot or somebody wearing pin rolls or pointing their feet down to the ground. I've honestly never seen a Nike Air Max 1 without anything inside it, just looking like that on the, on, on the table, still maintain that shape, that silhouette, that little triangle point at the front. 
exquisite absolutely exquisite i'm not going to lie absolutely exquisite they absolutely went in on these these look fucking banging but oh it's getting a little bit tiring i'm not gonna be honest but anyway let's continue with the, with the article it says after releasing the nike air max one in noise aqua pata is set to add another colorway to the collaboration um, collection or the collaborative collection sorry constructed using premium white leather new buck and silver reflective mesh um, this premium iteration sees the similar set of color blocking as the previous releases in the jagged wavy pattern suede leather overlays in black give way to the mudguard quartet and heel so what is that mudguard leather or is it suede it's, it's suede oh oh that is beautiful isn't it oh that is beautiful um, more details come in embroidered mini swoosh to complete the look the cell midsole atop of the free tone the outsole debuts in December you can get Pate Max 1 in black USD at Nike the collab will also come with a co-branded custom box so they're available already now oh no the debut in December sorry it's not now they're leaving December so yeah another one for the head top another Pate Max 1 I'm not sure how I feel about it I'm really not too sure I think it's a bit too much I think they're doing way too much for these but you know uh, what can you do